Located in Chicago's Chinatown neighborhood, you'll find good eats and tasty signature cocktails at Nine Bar. Lily Wang and Joe Briglio join us now to mix up two of their popular cocktails. Thanks for joining us, folks. Thanks for having yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. Happy to be here. So you guys are groundbreaking. The first <laughs> cocktail bar in Chinatown. Yeah, it's yeah. been an interesting change to the neighborhood, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would imagine it's got to be influencing a lot of younger folks. Oh, definitely. But I think our crowd is pretty diverse. We yeah. have people of all ages mm -hmm. there. Okay. Well, we got to get a little yeah. bit into the background. Of, uh, of the of the bar. Yeah. So your parents ran and owned Moon Palace. Right. It's still there. Yes. Um, it's been converted to just carry out and delivery, and it's just the counter up front, and then the bar is kind of tucked in behind. So the storied restaurant that everyone's love loved it. to go get their dumplings for over <laughs> how many years? Twenty. Um, they got it in '95. They okay. bought it in '95. Okay. So, so um, all these years, because I can't do the math, you know. <laughs> exactly. Almost thirty. Um, almost thirty. 30. <laughs> Sorry. Um, going against the Asian American stereotypes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, it's been there for a long time. It's still there up front, but then this this bar's tucked away. We're, we're tucked behind the back there. Yeah, we like to think of it as a dual concept, um, huh. so that way we're able, able to utilize as many hours as we can during the day. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, well, let's get started on the cocktails. Yeah. We'll talk more about the bar mm -hmm. in a second. We're making two. What are you making? Yeah, so first up is our cheating death cocktail. Um, it's kind of like our version of an old-fashioned, mm -hmm. um, and it's really great for, you know, this weather. Um, so we start off using a writ Rittenhouse rye, which is like a nice spice rye. Mm -hmm. um, we add a little bit of Zucca Rhubarbaro, which is a Chinese rhubarb based Amaro. And oh, it kind of cool. adds like a little bit of bitterness, a little bit more body. And then um, we always like to try to incorporate an Asian ingredient into yes. our cocktail. So we use Chinese five spice. Um, Chinese five spice is a really like kind of nice complex spice blend that has uh, cinnamon, star anise, ginger, clove, um, peppercorn. It's not always five spices <laughs> exactly, <laughs> but it's, it's a blend of those. I gotta ask you, so why nine bar? I would think with a Chinese background, you'd be at eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I mean, so yeah, you know that um, numerology is very yeah. important in Chinese culture. So nine is a lucky number as well. It kind of represents longevity, but it does have uh, multiple meanings behind it. So the way you pronounce not, um, bar, like any sort of bar, is actually pronounced the same way as nine bar. Nope. So it's, yeah, okay. so it's like Ooh. a play on words. Yeah. That's what bust out my Chinese. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Say that again. Joe. Joe? Did I get the yeah, accent right? Also, it's Joe Bob. Okay. But it's, the Joe same, it's pronounced the same way um, to say nine bar and to just say bar. So it's like a little bit of a pun. A little That's bit of cool. And then you're finishing this off with like a classic. A classic old fashioned garnish. So a little bit of mm. orange oil over the top, which really just kind of brightens it up. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm ready to taste this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Enjoy. Cheers. And then what would be the traditional cheers? Uh, gumpai. Gumpai. <laughs> it means empty glass. Gumpai. So you guys better empty, empty. those yeah. glasses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end of the show. <laughs> oh, gosh, delicious. that's good. Yeah. yeah. It's got Ooh. that twist. I like yeah. the little awesome. bit of, yeah, the spices. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely some warming spices, yeah. I think. Ooh, nice okay. earthiness from the Amaro, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's up next? So Lily's going to make her favorite cocktail, um, <laughs> which is kind of our version of a margarita, a spicy margarita. Mm -hmm. um, Sorry, and again, yes. incorporating, you know, things that we love and things that we work really, think work really well with this. So uh, there's a passion fruit liqueur. There's also what she's using right now, which is a Szechuan peppercorn syrup. So it'll, it'll bring just a little bit of underlying heat and some nice floral notes to it. Mm -hmm. uh, that is Sellers, which is a <laughs> Gentian liqueur. Oh, okay. uh, so oh, we're wait. bringing a little bit of bitterness um, to balance this out and a little bit more floral notes. And then we're using a Blanco tequila. So uh, nice peppery notes on this tequila and nice nice earthiness and some vegetalness there as well. And then, of course, um, your standard lime juice. Wow. Um, they, you guys have some of the coolest drinks. While Lily's oh, finishing say, this, yeah. over there, uh -huh. I, mean, I mean, I mean, the cocktails I've never tasted yeah. anywhere else, and it's... You would think you were at some, you know, right. really fancy place where you're paying a ton of money for these drinks, we, but... We like to keep it approachable. We like to describe the cocktails as being um, interesting but approachable. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so that way they're, they're usually built or constructed in a fashion that you would be familiar with, right. like like the margarita, like the old fashioned, but we like to bring our own little twists and bring in some Asian ingredients and Ooh, some things from our backgrounds as well. And That's while so we cool. taste this, will you yeah. tell us what those yeah, are? Those yeah, are so, yeah. Um, you know, Cheers. we have the two that we made here. Uh, Lily can describe. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I think with when we kind of were approaching mm -hmm. making our cocktail menu, we wanted to have something that would appeal to everybody. So if you like something, you know, if you're more 
like so want something more interesting, this is our Smoke and Mirrors. It's a mezcal based um, cocktail that's kind mm -hmm. of like a Negroni. Um, we infuse it with an orange and lemongrass tea, mm -hmm. so it's a little bit bitter, a little bit smoky. Yeah. Uh, then we have our Mai Tai, which is really the, uh, the nice tie into the classic, you know, uh, Chinese American tropical drink uh -huh. uh, relationship. Um, and we're using an almond cookie or jat. So the, the typical oh, nice. almond syrup that you would find in a Mai Tai is used with, uh, we're using almond cookies for that one. That's and that's awesome. right there, right? This is yeah. this guy. This and we nice use the almond cookies that they um, that they sell at Moon Palace. Oh, that's so fun. And that are made Love in it. Chicago, yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. then lastly, I mean, we have a section of menu, um, on our menu of highballs that are just going to be like more refreshing, lighter drinks if you're wanting to have a few and not go too crazy. And they have <laughs> delicious bar bites, crab oh. rangoon, oh. Well, I want to go back. Yeah. 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 Oh, no. Yes. Yeah, so. yes. Chicken wings so on special uh, nights. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Lily and Joe, thank you so much for being here. Nine Bar is on Surback Road in Chinatown. Nine Bar Chicago mm. is the website and social media handles. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Having so us. fun. Yeah.